Hello, I'm Dr. Albanese with Albanese Chiropractic, and our mission is to help as many families as possible create healthy lifestyles and reach optimal health through chiropractic. So we are going to continue our discussion about fiber. Now, fiber is very important, not just for uh, adding bulk to the stool, but overall health. And that's why it's important to talk about fiber. Fiber can help regulate immune system, brain function, can help to regulate insulin, cholesterol, keeps your heart healthy, can help regulate your overall weight management. It can slow down digestion to enable you to break down food properly. It can also help with gut health. Problems like colitis and IBS can be greatly helped by increasing the amount of fiber you eat every day. Now, let's look at fiber. There are two types of fiber. There's soluble fiber, which are foods that can dissolve in water. Foods like oatmeal, lentils, apples, and then there's insoluble fiber. Fiber filled foods that do not dissolve in water. Foods like barley, couscous, broccoli, zucchini, foods like that. Now we want to have a diverse amount of fiber so we cover soluble and insoluble fiber. So it helps to feed our gut microbiome, but it also helps to produce healthy stools. Now, where do we get fiber from? Well, seeds and nuts are a great source of fiber. Flaxseed, chia seeds, all different types of seeds and nuts. Fruits, fruits like berries. Berries are a rich source of fiber. Apples and pears and bananas. Certainly grains are a great source, but we want to focus on whole grains and whole wheat, not processed grains. Legumes, peas, beans, uh, lentils, a great source of fiber. And of course, vegetables. Vegetables are a great fiber-filled source of uh, fantastic diversity in fiber. So the best source of fiber are going to be your fruits, your vegetables, your seeds, nuts, and legumes. This is going to be the most natural, healthiest form of fiber. Now, if you're eating food that comes out of a bag, box, or can, let's look at how we can determine if there's a healthy amount of fiber in those foods. And we're going to look at the 5 to 1 ratio rule. Now, let me explain a little bit about this. 5 to 1. When we look at total carbohydrates on the back of a label, we want to make sure that ratio of total carbohydrates to dietary fiber is at least 5 to 1. So let's look at this label as an example. Here we see this label has 10 total carbohydrates and 5 grams of dietary fiber. So when we divide 10 by 5, it equals 2. That's a ratio of 2 grams of carbohydrates to every 1 gram of fiber. That's below 5 to 1, so that's a good healthy ratio. Now let's look at this next label. Here we see 22 grams of total carbohydrates and 2 grams of dietary fiber. So here when we divide 22 by 2, it equals 11. That's a ratio of 11 total carbohydrate grams for every 1 gram of fiber. That's not a healthy ratio. So we want to keep that ratio as close to 5 to 1 as possible. Now you'll see uh, if you search this rule up, there's a 10 to 1 ratio that sometimes is recommended. In my opinion, that's too high. We want to have optimal health, so we want to look at an optimal ratio of total carbohydrates to fiber. I would recommend using the 5 to 1 ratio. So I hope this video was helpful for you. We're going to go in further detail talking about fiber in the next couple videos, but I hope you share this video with people you care about because you never know how you're going to help them. And as always, we ask that you like and subscribe to our channel. This helps us better cater these videos to our audience. So until we see you next time, I'm Dr. Albanese. Have a great day and be well.